Savannah and myself would like to give a special thank you to Mike, Liz, Zach, Jaden, Blake, and Kevin for being part of the Spencer Pro Event 2022. Two. Three. So first shipment of equipment showing up. Looky what we got here. Oh yeah. Look at them pretty old girls. Woo. Toro 4000. Toro Multiforce. Turfmaster. At least it wasn't too far of a delivery for you, huh? No, no. <laughs> I come up to Worcester a lot, anyhow. But... Think this one's all disconnected? Yep. You wanna grab that? I'll push this. Hey, you guys know how to drive those things. Get on one of them. Uh, maybe yeah. <laughs> We're not going to talk about this one just yet. Just kidding. At this point, it's already been given away. There's a lucky winner. Nobody knows. That mower right there with the mulch force, we're giving it away. I got to be quiet. It's a secret. Everybody thinks they're all just displays. Only two are. That one we're giving away. Thank you, Toro. Toro Company so gracious. Mike, I thought you were going to scratch it. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. What's up, Cameron? I'm surprised they let you cruise in there. Hey, man, they gave us uh, full access. That's good. All we have to do is put a little piece of cardboard underneath the back engine part, hide it, just in case there's any leaks, which Toros don't leak, ever. Uh, I've never had a Toro leak. <laughs> <laughs> Smell those fumes? Yeah. A <sighs> little bit of a American ingenuity, huh? That's right. <laughs> Let's check these babies out real quick. Oh, some color power. Oh, some more color power. Oh, some more color power. Oh, 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 oh. That one's for you, Tim Allen. All right, there's Ben Track. too much exhaust into there yeah where actually let's, let's so we're gonna put you some. right here pretty much gonna be can we move this toy table real quick sure. we're, yeah. we're gonna put you guys right here Aaron okay we'll okay. get this we'll get this if you need me to take that back to the shop for you I'll go ahead and do that. thank you guys doing a great job now thank you thank you Mike's doing an okay job <laughs> we might we might need to move this over more. Is that gonna fit under there? Um, I don't think. That light is gonna be close. Ooh, it is. It pulls down, doesn't it? Yeah. You gotta take the cab off. <laughs> gotta back it in. Don't yeah, just just watch me. Make sure. Yeah, we'll go slow. Make sure you don't hit Dan. 
Yes, we are taking the machine into it if it fits. <laughs> the air out of the tires too. <laughs> I think we have enough room here. Just to the left of here, huh? How are we looking up that? guys we got a packed house take you guys inside here real quick I know the lighting horrible here we go here Mike over there this is awesome what it's all about guys having a good time it's like christmas day for everyone Father, we just thank you for today. Father, we thank you for this opportunity and this evening. Dear Heavenly Father, I come, I come to you so humble. Thank you for everybody getting here today safely. Thank you for everyone that's here today that believed in us and what we're trying to do here with the channel and life and in our family. Would all of you do me a great big favor? I want you guys to turn and find somebody that you don't know. I know a lot of you came with friends and workers and wives. Turn to somebody that you don't know Shake their hand, introduce themselves, tell them how great you are to be here with them and just in this moment. This may possibly be the biggest Dean Boozle challenge ever. So, you know, Ripley's, if you're following anywhere, you know, we'll take the credit here at Spencer Lawn Care for sure. On the count of three, we're all going to eat it together. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Get your surprise. Oh my God.
probably pick up your phone, right? Computer or something, hop on emails. You're putting something into your business, right? So if I didn't put anything into this plant, what would happen to this plant? It would die. It would die, exactly. Same thing with your body. If you didn't consume water or the proper nutrients, just like your business, if you're not pouring the right things into it, sometimes a little too much. <laughs> So we see you're putting out videos just about every day. Uh, I was kind of curious if, you, if that has ever um, taken time away from or messed with the day-to-day -day operations of your lawn care business. Or do you have a, uh, a media team that's doing that for you or you do all the editing yourself? I still do it all myself. He all puts in hours and hours of sleepless nights pretty much doing a lot of this, uh, the media stuff. And he's great at it, but he does sacrifice a lot with family and everything. Sleep, he absolutely needs more sleep in his life. <laughs> um, but he does a great job doing it. I don't know if you have plans on uh, hiring a media team, but he still enjoys doing it. I'm a paid firefighter EMT in the evenings, and I do my business during the day. When, or how do I know when is the time to take that leap of faith and and do go full time and get rid of uh, that's what I'm struggling with right now. Invested a lot into that firefighter EMT side of things. Personally, that was what I went to college originally to be. And then I found out, hey, you're probably going to be an EMT. And I was like, no, nah, I want to be a firefighter. They're like, no, you're going to be an EMT. But back to what you're saying, you'll know when it's the right time. When you're being pulled so much towards your business that it hurts you to have to go there you'll know that's the right time. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you, hey, quit your career, because there's a lot of benefits that come along with being a firefighter. And those benefits you have to acquire as your own business owner to make sure you're being taken care of, your family's being taken care of, health insurance. All right, we're gonna talk about mowers versus math. We're gonna do some math today. If you don't like math, that's fine. We're gonna do math. Next slide, as we roll. We're gonna talk about a few things. First and foremost, uh, debt about debt going into debt to grow your business and then looking at return on investment or ROI we're going to like KPIs are key performance indicators in your business we're going to go over just a few of them together again mathing it'll be great uh, third we're going to talk about profitable growth and you can actually predict exactly how large your business should become in order to maximize your profits all right there's no guesswork math what's beautiful about math that it runs the entire world all right so we're going to basically figure out exactly how your business, uh, how big it should become to maximize profit. All right, next slide, let's roll. First, talk, let's talk about debt. So we're gonna go two different options here, and that is at the top, we're gonna, go, we're gonna use cash only, at the bottom, we're gonna do debt. Now, I use this a lot of times with our franchisees starting second locations, but this could just also be just you investing in another crew, another route, potentially a secondary location or setup that you might have. Now they've booked an estimate with you, they want a property cleanup or they want a mulch installation. How long does it take to get to the job? Oh, Mr. Jones, I'll come by next week or I'll be there this evening at 4 p.m. Again, time, this is all speed. And by doing this, I'm increasing the, the chance and the likelihood that they will accept the quote. Next thing, I go and I talk to Mr. Jones. I, get, I, I see the property, I get all the numbers in my head. All right, Mr. Jones, I'll send you a quote tonight, okay? Now I could send it tonight, some of us will send it in two weeks, or I could send it while I'm in the driveway back to an office person or even myself on my phone, type it up, get the numbers, get the math, and send it immediately. Again, taking time out of the equation will always lead to more estimates being sold. And here's what's really cool. All of that can be done all that growth and close ratio and getting more customers was all done without spending a single dollar on marketing. Words of wisdom and law of service. What's up guys? Hey, keep your numbers right. You gotta know those numbers. They're the most important thing. Customer service on top of that. Be the best at customer service you possibly can be. And if you're not that great at it, practice it. Sean with Cujo was supposed to be here, but he got sick, so he couldn't come. But he wants to offer a VIP 15% discount code for any of the Cujos, if you go on to their website, that is good through December, the rest of the month. Kevin Bailey, everyone. How's everyone 
doing today? Good. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. That's good. All right, so I am not here to tell you how to do your job safe. All right? I'm here to tell you why you want to do your job safe. All right? A lot of times I go into a company, so I'm talking to that company, and that company has a policy that, that their employees are supposed to follow, they have programs in place, they have training programs, and I'm there to kind of reinforce it. Today, I'm speaking to how many, like, mom and pops operations do we have in here right now? Right? Right? You guys can pretty much do what you want, right? You don't have corporate, you don't have a safety coordinator, you don't have a safety a manager coming around and breathing down your neck, saying, hey, what are you doing without wearing your safety glasses? Why are you not following the lockout tag out procedure? Why are you lifting that mower up and don't have jack stands under it, using the front end motor or whatever, right? It's my job to hopefully convey a message of why you want to work safe, right? And hopefully encourage you to that end. this turf and you may have saw a video that Sean shared where I was asking you to think about your dreams, think about your purpose, um, what is it that drives you to do what you do, that you don't hit the snooze button, that you don't roll over, that you don't make an excuse because it's kind of rainy and you can kind of get away with not doing anything and nobody's going to really get upset because you didn't show up to their yard, what gets you to keep going, to hustle, to grind, to push through that? When I started I had passion, that passion was the instant gratification that you got with doing this kind of work. Uh, remember a sweet old lady, her name was Miss Langston. She couldn't do her yard. She had done her yard for years. She couldn't do it anymore. She asked me to go out and to take care of it for her. And that gratification of taking a yard that hadn't been touched in weeks, that is knee high, and going in and cutting it and cleaning it up and making it look good, whether it was three passes, four passes, five passes, whatever it took to make that property look good, it was that instant gratification. And so as I've grown my company, all of those aspects of that gratification that you get in the landscape, the hardscape, the lawn care, has always been what drives me. All right, can I get a countdown from like three to two to one, really loud from all of you guys? Three, two, one. You can do better than that, come on now guys. I could barely even hear you over here. One more time. Say thank you enough to Toro, Jared, Andrew, all of those guys. Toro supports this community from the top 
to the Baja, 100%, and we can't say thank you enough. So without further ado, can I get a drum roll, please? Got a seven at the beginning. <laughs> a six. A seven. I can't read the rest, babe. Will you read the rest? A five. Is that a five? Yep. Oh. Yep. Zero. <gasps> Who's close? Five zero. One. One. Five, five zero, zero one. one. Five zero one. Oh, you did it! Hey, I got an idea though. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna it back. I got an idea. Okay. There's some kids here that are kind of young starting their business. Yeah. Like 16 or younger, maybe. Uh, how about you have them come up and do their own drawing? So. That would be fine. You want to give them over? Somebody else? Uh, so I'd say younger. Yeah. Have yeah, their name thrown into a hat like that? Yeah, let's like put their names. Like bring up their tickets and I'll draw their tickets. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. That's the right thing. I told you. Believe it or not, guys, I swear to God, I'll put my hand on the Bible. Nate called me yesterday and he said, I'm going to win that mo. <laughs> And I'm like, hey, good luck, man. You know, you got a one in like 400 chance, I think. So, yeah. <laughs> how are we going to know which numbers they have? All right, guys. So we had mass chaos. Never did I think we would give away a 20 plus thousand dollar mower and the individual would stand up and tell us to give it to somebody else. Thank you, Nate, with Bissell Maple Farms. Can we all give Nate a round of applause for what else can we do? You were 330? Okay, what's your name? What's your name So quick story guys. This young guy right here, 16 years old, drove his car here by himself from New York. So with that being said, you're gonna get to choose the winning ticket. Can we get another drum roll real quick? This is even bigger. Thank you, Dan, once again. Let's go. Come on, you guys. Get on the back. Get in the front of it. All right, one more. Hold on one second. Oh, no, you can keep the drum roll. Come on. Say Grady. Yeah, Grady. Grady. Where's Grady? Who's Grady? Grady. Give everyone a round of the hand. This is 
more work than you can imagine. There's a host of people that are here overnight last night cooking all the food. Yeah. Mike, Dan, Tessa, Esther. These folks were here yesterday morning with us very early, cooking all the gifts together. Once you get it, guys, none of you were going home and the game. Remember, we're done here. Savannah and I will be going to the back of room number four. We have gift bags for everyone. Also, Toro and Kohler and Jim, they sent over a ton of donations. Feel free to take what you need. There's beanies, there's gloves, there's coffee cups. If you want it, if you've got something you want to give to your mom, dad, whatever, if it's over there, those are gifts from them to you guys. Make sure you get a bag from us as well. Thank you all for coming out to the Spencer Pro event in 2022. We hope to see all of you back here in 2023.